welcome once again to Norristown Area High School and ASDT uh, presents boys basketball. The Eagles are hosting William Tennant, the Panthers from Warminster. And uh, tonight we've got a tough game. Uh, Norristown actually is coming off a couple big victories. They had a blowout against Downingtown. They had a narrow escape uh, up in Doylestown against Central Bucks West. This William Tennant team is a team to be reckoned with. They're 3-1 and one so far this year. Um, Neil, why don't you bring us up to date on uh, who the starters are and what's going on with Norristown. All right, for Norristown, Maurice Allen, Marcus Green, Andy James, TJ Tolson, and Brad Weldon will be the starters. We have a couple players not in uniform tonight. Ed Moore has run into some uh, academic problems. Uh, Ryan Shockley was late to school, and the rule is that he cannot uh, play in the, ga the game tonight without principal permission, and he didn't get, didn't get the right papers, so he won't be playing tonight. And there's some other players that have some academic problems. Unfortunately, Norristown falls into the problem because Norristown standards are a lot tougher than other schools in the state. But that's the way it is, and the coach and Coach McGee has to play with the players that he has. That's absolutely true. Uh, William Tennant comes in here. They're three and one, as I said. They uh, came off a victory, or I'm sorry, a narrow loss in the gym at Abington. This is a team that brings a lot of depth into the gym with them. Norristown, a team with a lot of depth also. However, they're hurt, obviously, by the loss of some of the players for this evening's game. Um, That's right. DJ Johnson is their big go-to guy for William Tennant. Coach McGee says he's the man to watch. He was a high point, to, a high point getter for uh, player of the year last year, so we're looking for good things from DJ He John. is number 11, in case you're watching at home. Also for Norristown, who do you look to to have a big performance tonight well, with I think the someone, absence of some of the other players? I think everyone has to step up and take some some responsibility, but I look for a good game from Marcus Green, our court general. Okay, we will rejoin you with the uh, opening tap. As we get set for the opening tap, once again, NASDT presents boys basketball, the Norristown Eagles hosting the Panthers of William Tennant. Earlier in the evening, the JVs won handily 62-23, to a sign of things to come. However, uh, if you look across this Norristown starting roster, they've got two seniors, two juniors, and a sophomore that are starting. William Tennant has four seniors and one junior, so obviously a lot more experience on the side of William Tennant this evening. All right, but I wouldn't take anything away from the Eagles either. You have someone like Marcus Green, Andy James, uh, Tolson, and Weldon. They all have experience in varsity action, so uh, even though they're not seniors, they do have a lot of experience on the floor. Well, we're experiencing a uh, delay in the opening tap. One of the referees at the scoring table. Another uh, interesting point to look out for, uh, William Tennant has a little bit more size this evening. In the absence of Ed Moore, uh, Tennant has two guys 6'3 or better. The tallest man out on the court for Norristown this evening is going to be 6 feet 2. Off the opening tap, Norristown gets control of the ball. I'm sorry, William Tennant gets control. Norristown opens up in a full court zone pressure defense. I think we'll see that a whole lot. Tennant using the middle of the court to break it. I'm looking at I'm looking at two really quick teams on the floor right now. Uh, I thought Norristown was quick, but it looks like William Tennant's got some real quick players. DJ Johnson, Adam Shearer, they're all moving around pretty quickly. And that number 25, Curtis Taylor, he's moving too. Shearer works the ball inside to number 30. That's Jason Strait, who looks for a lane. He gets it, goes by his man. The basket is no good, however. TJ Tolson with the rebound. Down low to Weldon. Back up top, jump shot is a little bit long. That was Marquez Green. Tennant brings it down. There's 7-10 to go in the first quarter. It's obvious that both teams are matched up evenly as far as quickness. Both teams get back on defense uh, in rather good form. DJ Johnson throwing the pass away. Norristown quickly gets the ball down the court, number 41. Brad Weldon with the first bucket of the evening. Norristown immediately back into the pressure defense. Tennant's done a good job both times handling it to get the ball past midcourt. Sloppy play there by William Tennant. Norristown quickly gets the ball back down court. Foul is drawn by Maurice Allen. He'll go to the line. He's shooting two. Six forty to go. Opening quarter. So far, Norristown in a full court sprint each time they have the ball. William Tennant's doing a decent job trying to get their, themselves into the offense. Looks like some real run-and-gun basketball. Everybody's running up and down the court real quick, and uh, 
it doesn't seem like they're waiting to set up a play. It looks like they're looking for that first open shot and they take it. And sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad. Off the, off the start, I guess it's good because you want to get some points on the board. But down the line, it's going to start hurting if you're just going to run and gun the whole time. One shot and out. The first shot is good. That's Maurice Allen. Both these teams do have pretty good depth, though. So if they're going to be running, they do have some fresh legs that they'll be uh, able to put back on the court. Yeah, talking talking to Coach McGee before the game, he said their strength is our strength, and I believe Norristown's strength is a depth off the bench. They have some really good players coming off the bench, and it, and it goes about three or four or five deep. Allen does a good job on the line. He makes both of his foul shots. Tennant breaks the press. They look back door. Tom Fenton with the attempted pass as Brad Weldon down in the Norristown end goes right to the basket strong again for Norristown. He gets fouled. He'll go to the line. Beautiful pass by Marcus Green. A no-look pass to his left side where he looked like he was either going to take the shot himself or go to the right, and it really threw the Panthers off. Well, Tom Fenton is key in the zone press break for William Tennant, and he's had a couple errant passes. That one was just a little bit ambitious, and it bounces off the backboard, enabling Norristown to start their fast break. Number 12, Ted Bezel checks in for William Tennant, the first substitution of the evening. He comes in for Adam Shear. Shear is a 5'10 senior guard. Bezel is a 5'10 junior guard. There's 6'18 to go. Well, it makes the first shot, and so, so far the uh, free throws for the Eagles doing pretty well. Well, with the amount of times that it looks like these guys get themselves shots near the basket, they had better be good foul shooters because they can certainly make up a lot of points that way. Norristown, once again in the zone press. Tennant going long. Doesn't look like uh, the Panthers have that hard of a time breaking the press. It's just getting the ball under the basket and making the shots now. Nice look down there, DJ Johnson. Traveling called against the Panthers. Well, DJ Johnson had Curtis Taylor underneath. It was a nice connection, but they couldn't make good on it. It remains 5 nothing. There's 6.01 left to go in the first quarter. Marcus Green brings the ball up. Norristown contend in what looks like a 1-2-2 uh, two, two, or maybe a 3-2 with the extended guard handling the point. And this is the first time Norristown has had to run a set offense. All their points tonight are off the break. From the corner, a little bit strong, no good. Rebound is pulled down by Curtis Taylor for Tennant. Into the hands of DJ Johnson to bring it up against the pressure of Maurice Allen. Foul on the floor against Andy James. He is one of the two seniors on the court right now for Norristown. They're, they're going to look for him to step up his game in the absence of some of the missing bodies. That's right. Andy has a lot of experience in varsity play. He got a lot of time last year, uh, and he has a lot, uh, a lot of ability. Just needs to focus his energies. Nice job there by TJ Tolson with the hustle. Picks up the loose ball up to Weldon, who takes it strong. He's got his, Weldon's got his fifth bucket, or fifth point of the evening. 7-1, Norristown, five minutes to go. Norristown pressures Tennant into another turnover. The Panthers are struggling against this defense. Of course, this game is nothing like the Downingtown game where we, we, we beat him by 63 points, but we're jumping out into the same kind of style or same fashion that we did against Downingtown. Get that big lead in the beginning and hold on. I didn't get to see the game against CB West, but it looks like we sneak one out, snuck one out against them. Marcus into the middle, no good. Rebound picked up. TJ Tolson did a nice job cleaning the boards. Excellent hustle down at the uh, defensive end of the court by Maurice Allen. Marie, ten, Marie, ten, go ahead. Tennant will inbound the ball underneath their own basket. I was going to say, Maurice Allen is a 5'11 junior, and talking to Coach Dean Barons, he says he's a bright, bright uh, spot on the, on the lineup for the Eagles. Jason Strait was open on the inbounds. Tennant's having a problem with their uh, trying to convert on some field goals tonight. They are scoreless, and there's four, four and a half minutes left to go in the first. Tennant gets set to bring in Jason Brown off the bench. Allen and Green working it back and forth. 
Green with a three-point attempt is no good. Tennant kicks the ball out long to DJ Johnson. Tries to create a shot for himself. Nice little move. First points on the evening for Tennant. Makes the score seven to two. With four minutes left to go in the first quarter. Green worked the ball inside. Shots a little bit off by TJ Tolson. Tennant turns the ball over. Adam Shear finds himself with his foot on the line as he tries to save that. How many turnovers would you say William Tennant has so far, John? Five it, or six. Oh, it, it's unbelievable. They've been turning the ball over every time they touch it, and, and the Eagles haven't actually been taking advantage of every situation, but they've been taking care of enough of them. Salim Campbell checks in for Norristown. Andy James gets a breather. Cross-court pass. Nice job by Campbell. The shot is too hard off the glass, but he keeps the ball alive. Some good quick hands down there, and it's settled by Maurice Allen. Green is working against senior guard Adam Shear for Tennant. Green tries to find Tolson in the middle, intercepted by Tennant, but then kept alive. Good job by Maurice Allen. We've got a push foul on Norristown. I think it was number 15, Maurice Allen. Nope. That's going to be a Weldon. Norristown's second foul of the evening. That was an ugly, ugly possession for the Eagles. They had three guys underneath the basket, and they couldn't put the basket in, and they get a foul as well. Uh, it just doesn't seem like Norristown's running any kind, of, any type of play when they get the ball. It's just shoot the ball around the perimeter and look for the open shot. And they didn't find a shot that last time down. Tennant running the inbound. Shear working against Green, trying to come off the pick of Fenton. The man-to-man -man defense is pretty tight. Johnson throwing up some junk after he gets fouled. It's called on the floor. Johnson's a little upset because of the push. Josiah Perry checks in as Weldon, sits, Weldon goes to take a seat. Josiah Perry, six feet four, much needed height on the floor right now for Norristown off the inbound. Johnson against Green, who's a sophomore. The ball is picked off. Good job on defense by Perry coming in off the bench. I believe this is Josiah's first game back after an injury that he sustained during the football season. Tennant with a, one of the few turnovers they've been able to manage against the, the Norristown defense, but they hand it right back. Maurice Allen is all alone. He puts it down with a big time jam. The crowd's going crazy. I think Tennant wants to call time. Nope. The referee just wanted to get the ball back. Nine to two. What a great looking dunk. That's that's not even six foot of a human being coming in there for that, yeah. that tomahawk. He, he got up there. You could tell he was going for it too. You could see it in his eyes. You could see it in the way he was moving. He was going for it all. Tennant trying to silence the crowd. They worked the ball up the court quickly in fine fashion, but Jason Strait couldn't keep his mitts on it. Goes out of bounds. 2.25 left to go in the first, 9 to 2. The, crowd's, the crowd has awoken. Fenton trying to work inside. They get the ball back into Strait. Makes good on his attempt. That's Tennant's fourth point. That's Jason Strait. 6'4 senior. A lot of people think it's easy to dunk, John, but uh, not only do you have to get up 10 feet, but you have to get the ball over the rim, which is another foot. So it's really like an 11 foot rim. And uh, Maurice Allen really showed us how to do it there. Kid's got some great hops. He's a junior. Josiah Perry at the line. Coach McGee in a conference looks like they're going to have to pull Campbell off the court for uh, an unspecified reason right now. And Andy James gets a chance to come back in the game. 2.08 to go in the first quarter. Andy James visited the uh, athletic trainer Dennis Flynn for an unknown reason, and now he's back in the game. That's why Salim has to sit down. Andy James is back in the game. 
Salim didn't look like he wanted to leave the game. Looked like he was having fun out there. Well, Norristown has had great success from the line. Perry hits his first of two. Second one rims out, leaving the score at 10 to four. Two minutes left to go, first quarter action. Johnson working against Allen. Penetrates a little bit, creates a shot. Three-point shot attempt is no good. Rebound by Tolson. Green with a nice crossover mood, works, works the ball in. Out to the corner, James up for three. A little strong. Rebound by Jason Strait. Shear's got his hands full with Green in his hip pocket. Forces the shot off, gets a foul called. Green's not quite sure why. Well, it's always he's always going to say it's not me, it's not me. It's it's the common plight or plea of any basketball or football player who's called for pass interference or a foul. It's not me. Well, who was it? The referee didn't see it uh, or didn't imagine it, and obviously there was a foul there. But Marcus said no way. Foul shot is good. Shears, Shears first points. Substitution for Norristown. Weldon's in, Tolson is out. Tennant has cut the lead in half. And now it's 10 to six. Good job off the inbound by Tennant. That's right, they're, they're, they're a quick team. They're not gonna let Norristown run all over them. I'm surprised Norristown only has a four point lead here. Uh, Tennant's playing sloppy ball. <laughs> Uh, Norristown's not capitalizing on it. Tennant trying to use a uh, full court pressure of their own. Penetration inside. Perry goes up. It's a little long. That was a nice job by Maurice Allen to get on the ball down low. Foul on the floor. Andy James, double zero. The revolving door continues. James goes to sit down. And Joe Roscoe is a senior. I don't, know, I don't know, John. I'm going to have to talk to Dean Barron's at halftime. It almost looked like Andy James knew as soon as he had that foul, he was going to the bench. There must be some kind of team policy if that if you have your second foul or you, you or you get a foul called that you're going to the bench. That I guess they they have enough depth that they can go to the bench that That's way. That's a great defense. Perry did a great job picking that ball out. Roscoe coming and cold off the bench couldn't get a handle on that uh, on that ball. Fenton, they kick it out to Johnson. No good. Nice job off the rebound. Curtis Taylor for Tennant. They are really struggling. I think Nor both teams are struggling. Norristown gains possession. It's kind of a frantic game out there right now. 10-6, to 6, 53 seconds left in the first quarter. Tennant pretty much has controlled the action. I'm sorry, Norristown's pretty much controlled the action. Nice job there by Green. Gets the ball up to Weldon, who couldn't finish. Roscoe off the strip. Pushes it up to Green, and he gets picked. A lot of back and forth, and then he gets picked. Yeah, it's like a tennis match. I think I'm going to get a stiff neck. It's a tough game to call. Maurice Allen gets his hand in the mix. Roscoe will inbound for, for the Eagles. Pushes the ball in. Perry is fouled. Number 50. Tom Fenton, junior center, or junior forward Fenton. That's Fenton's second foul, and we're only in the first quarter. He's kind of a big foul. He has a hard time getting out of the way, I think. He's yeah. been, probably is in foul trouble a lot. Green setting up a play. Going for the last shot, looking for, looking at the clock, also listening to Coach McGee. And Coach, Coach McGee will at one point say go, and, and they'll go for that last shot. Just about 10 seconds now. That's I'm sure they this, go. this play will utilize the speed of Green. They work the middle. Roscoe gets the three-point attempt off. Rims out. Great rebound by Perry. Pushes it back up. No good. Back up Weldon. The ball is blocked. Shot is blocked at the end. And the first quarter will end 10 to 6 in favor of Norristown. Well, Norristown's had a, a good opportunity for second, third, and fourth shots. And uh, they're having a hard time pushing the ball in the bucket, Neil. There's, a, there's an instance where there was 10 seconds left to go. They brought the ball inside. Three shots at the basket, you can't put it in. And one of them was a block shot by William Tennant. Uh, 
if that's the thing, if that's a, a little bit of a hint of what's going to come later in this game, Norristown's in trouble. Uh, a lot of people were saying this should be an easy win for them, and I don't know. At 10-6 at the end of the first quarter, I'm not really that impressed by the Norristown squad. Maybe they, maybe they are missing some of the players that aren't in, like Shockley and Moore. But uh, we we hope that the Eagles can get it together in the second quarter. Uh, Marcus Green is. I, I thought he was going to be. A, an important person in this game, and yes, he has been on the speed factor, but he's taken two shots from the outside that were way off. Uh, they were both three, they were both three point attempts. Uh, I think Marcus needs to be a little more patient with those shots and uh, with his shot selection.